Hello everyone, this is Josh Castle from Nero County Public Library. Today I'd like to talk to you about another digital creativity at home software that you can use for free. This time it's called PureRef. You can get it from pureref.com and it's available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. This software is a little bit different from the other digital creativity software that we featured here before in that it's actually not something that you create content directly in necessarily. This is like an inspiration board, content curation board, mood board, and reference image board that you can use and have a reference for your work. And as an artist, you might know how powerful that is, but if not, I'm gonna go through some of the features here to show you just what all you can do. So something to know about this software is that while it's free, when you go to download, it will suggest you pay a price. You can hit a custom amount, change this to zero dollars, and the download becomes free here. Now, whenever people are asking for donations or asking to support development, if you find that maybe you can't afford this or that you really like the features that it has, you should always consider giving them some money. And that goes for really any software, whether it's you know free and open source or you know it's kind of a shareware thing or they ask for donations. If you find that you're using it a lot, it's probably a good idea to support them, but like I said, that's completely up to you. You can use it for free to try it out and see if that's the case. There's also a forum, and in the forum, you can get support from users, post questions and answers, things like that, so it's very useful. And there's this support link here, which gives you a lot of uh, frequently asked questions, but most importantly, it goes through the default key bindings. Now, there's lots of different key bindings here. Each of these kind of are indicative of some sort of service or um, application that this um, program has. So you can rearrange things, you can change colors, you can um, add notes to them, you can move them around, lock them in place, change their scale. It's a lot of different things that you can do to help you visualize or help you organize. So with that in mind, I'm actually gonna minimize this just so you can see the entirety of this program here and see how simple it is, but then also see how powerful it is. So let me go ahead and open it up. And as you can see, this is the program. Um, we can right click it to move it around. And once we have some images on there, we can use our scroll wheel to zoom or hold it into pan. We can click and drag and things like that. It does say hit control H for a help menu. And it goes through some of those functionalities that I was talking about. So moving the window, uh, you can right click for a context menu and use your scroll wheel. It also has this link down here, which goes right back to the default key bindings. And that's just because those are pretty important, as I said earlier. So let's go ahead and close that. And I want to bring it in our first image. So I have a folder open and I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag an image and it's on my canvas now. So you might say, well, what does that mean? And if I scroll out here, uh, you can see that there's this little gray area and that represents a, a canvas that I'm working on. And this image is here. So it's actually not small. Uh, you can zoom in and get it to be full size. You can resize this window if you find this too small for you. I just kept it small because if you need to see details, you can zoom in. So you can resize in this window. Uh, you can click and drag more things. So, you know, I brought in this first image here and it's kind of this um, very white, very plain, uh, but you know, aesthetically pleasing room. And then maybe I'm saying, well, you know, I wanna bring in some color inspiration here too. Maybe I'm an architectural person or an interior designer or just an artist and I want to bring in some of these elements into something like this. So if I open up Photoshop, I could have a reference between these two images. So maybe I could have this image in here and you can actually copy and paste between them. So I'm just going to hit control C to copy, go into my canvas and paste it in. And I can zoom into that. And then maybe if I want to like say, oh, I like, I really like the color of this chair. You know, I can kind of base that um, or I could use this as a reference for this chair and I could sample the color and, you know, start painting that chair that color. 
And so you can actually do those kind of edits and you know you have that kind of inspiration. Uh, but it's also pretty nice because you can actually bring in stuff uh, not only directly from Pure Ref to your to whatever program that you're uh, creating in, but you can actually bring over to Pure Ref itself. So if I change this image, you know, if I just uh, let's move this out of the way here, if I just took my paintbrush here and get on the paintbrush, and I just did, you know, I'm like, hey, I want to put this random shape on here. I could hit Command A get everything, control C, get that, go back to my pure ref window, hit control V, and now I have uh, my image with this uh, painting over it. So it copies directly back and forth. So maybe I don't want that, I can hit delete. And uh, one of the other great things about this, let me zoom out here and put it over here and get this out of the way. Not only can you use uh, Photoshop, but you can work in GIMP, Krita, uh, Inkscape, anywhere you can copy from, you can bring images into or out of Pure Ref. So that's also true for online. So I had this photo up earlier. I'm just going to hit copy image and go into my Pure Ref and I can hit paste. And it's going to put, it's going to paste it directly in there. So let's move this over here. And you can see one of the other nice things is it kind of scales the canvas dynamically. So if I have uh, these two items and I want them far away from this because I feel like they're not similar, I can move them far away. And now I have, you know, this interior stuff over here and the exterior right here. And I can even, um, referencing those key bindings that I saw earlier, I can hit Command N to put in a note and I can do interior. And I can make an, a note here that's, you know, exterior or something. So I'm just going to make that into your exterior. And now you can arrange things. Um, so you can have, you know, an, an infinite canvas. So you can do interiors, exteriors. You could go on to have pieces of furniture that you like. You could bring in pictures of chairs or something like that. And you could really use this as a reference for any kind of art that you're doing. So. If you have a movie, maybe you kind of want to see how you're laying out your scene. If you're doing a drawing, maybe you want to get inspiration from the colors or architecture or something like that. And you can bring them into or out of your art program um, to do revisions. So you could have something where maybe you, you know, you painted in something here. And then you can have this be revision one. And then you could have something where you painted something else and it's revision two and you find that you like one versus the other, right? Um, so you can go through all of your all of your different designs. You could even use this as like a storyboard. So if you're making a comic, you can have like panel one. You could do a silly little drawing like that Curse of G that I put over that room earlier and have that instead be a person like standing in this room maybe. Maybe they're talking about something and this is the comic that, or the drawing that you want to make. And then you could do that C1. You can go ahead and make another one that's scene two and have them doing something else. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the options are limitless. You can save these um, so you can have different, you know, entirely different boards. Um, you can create new canvases on these boards for separate areas. And with, with that, you can really have a very powerful application that you can use for your artistic reference. So I definitely recommend that you use it. Uh, reference those key bindings. Uh, whenever I added the notes here, that was again command N. I actually didn't know that you could do that at first, and I saw a little video of it on the website. And I was like, wow, that'd be really useful. Couldn't find it in the program, but on the key binding page, you know, I could find it. I'm sure there's also a menu here. Yeah, there's a menu where you could, you know, probably change your key binding and things like that. Um, but, you know, I, I, I'm usually a person that likes to learn their key bindings and, you know, that, that helps me uh, keep a good reference because if I'm ever curious, I go to their website and it tells me, you know, what I'm looking for. So with all that said, I think this is a really great resource for artists, interior designers, people that are doing movies, or people that just kind of want to think visually. 
Um, so with that, I recommend you use it. Again, it's PureRef from PureRef.com, and it can be had for free, or if you feel like that it's really useful for you, you can also pay for it. That said, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.